Final match. Thank you, Quick Shot. Exactly right. We're going to game five, but not before we break down game four, figure out how we got there. First person I want to take a look at, Rainover Sheepy. My God, this guy played a really sick series. Rek'Sai, I think we slowly understand how this champion becomes so strong, and he goes for the Warrior enchantment and gets those really sick kills in the early and mid game. It's really important how these games are so fast paced, so you want to pick champions that do not rely on their ultimate to skirmish. Things like Sejuani are not going to make the cut. They need their ultimate. Rek'Sai is so huge in this tournament because she relies on no ultimates. Maokai, champions like this that do not need the ultimate, the Azirs, the, um, the Cassiopeias, these are champions that are really fitting the meta for this tournament in specific and that Fnatic's playing exactly that. And a point you hit on, Crumbs, is how you push champions that do rely on their ultimate through your itemization. Rainover isn't going for a sight stone. Instead, he's picking up things like the Hex Drinker, where he can just sit there and dominate the likes of the Sejuani with that Warrior Enchant with the Hex Drinker. I think he's a step ahead in these because the games aren't going that late. We've seen it all week long, and he's really mind gaming the heck out of these. Yeah, he's upgrading the Yellow Trinket to the Ward one, not the Pink Ward one. The other thing I want to, another thing I want to touch on is the coaching in this series. We heard Kobe talk about it a little bit, but the adaptations here by Fnatic, learning from their loss prior, uh, and putting a lot more prioritization on the global objectives, the neutral objectives this time over the turrets. Yeah, and that's what I brought up. I couldn't believe they actually went for that mid lane turret against Nazir. This time they controlled Vision and they went for the Baron. The reason Baron is so strong is because this team already splits up. So if you have three waves of Baron minions, there is no way you can clear. Every Every single one of them. They rely on the teleport, they rely on the 1v1 prowess of Forbidden, and it just falls so much into their favor. Yeah, there's just one Faker in your team to actually keep them off your turret. And Faker, just to pull it out there, he played a fantastic Azir, and I think he was playing his game, and slowly he was like, how come this Hecker is actually two, three levels ahead of me and still getting the kills on the enemies? Here's the thing that I really think that uh, is going to drive this game, perhaps in Fnatic's favor. We know. Uh, SKT is a team that always swaps out in the best of fives. When they're losing, you know what they do? They dump the players that are losing and they sub in new ones. These players do not know how to make a comeback when they're playing poorly. They just, they've been getting subbed out the whole season. They don't have all their subs here. They don't have someone to replace Bengi if he's playing poorly. Faker's playing the same champions as Easy Hoon. How is Bengi going to recover when the entire season, if he plays poorly, they just bring in Tom who does fills in what he's lacking. Yeah, unfortunately, it's been talked about which subs they brought. They bring Easy who not not Tom. And I do feel Faker is stepping up. You mentioned, I mean, the 1v9 there on Azir. <laughs> the, the, you know, I'm stuck in ELO hell. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm not sure bringing in Easy Hoon in this next game would really even help them. The champion pools, are they're playing the same thing, so it's not really going to do much. And the other thing is he's just playing it so well. You saw in the mid lane team fight, he was able to get the knockups. In bottom lane, he had a Leona and a Hecarim. Leona was like the same level as him as well, by the way. Shoves them both under turrets, live. He's doing absolutely everything, everything. he possibly can. If anyone's crying for easy here, I would really question why. Yeah, we talked about, I want to jump back over to Fnatic real quick. We talk about Rainover and his pressure and his bullying of Bangi in this game, but also his team fight decision making. I want to pull up our replay and toss this to you, Sheepy, because he knows that his team is behind him in this decision. That was absolutely incredible split decision, uh, split decision, uh, split, split decision. seconds yeah. uh, decision making. Um, if we roll the clip here, Rainova is on the side clearing the pink board, and then the CV ultimate is popped, and you have like one, one uh, opportunity that you can't miss. Either way, you go on their backline or you run away and you flash away, and he did just an incredible turn here, and to do that in. Half a second that you have to think was really, really that impressive was to see. Orgasmic. Yeah. Like, with his itemization <laughs> as well, understanding with the skirmisher saber and no sight. So he's tankier with the spirit visage, with the hex drinker, and with the ninja tab. And we criticism, criticized Fnatic for maybe that little bit of hesitation. We saw Huni had it in the last game. This time around, they get the knockup. All of a sudden, they're firing everything over walls. Guns are blazing with ultimates yeah. blind. They're just trying to delete the SKT lineup off the map. And when you play like that, it is so hard to respond because... All out aggression is just really hard to measure. And I think that SKT should question sometimes their engages because that was such a clean engage where you thought, wow, he's out of position, I'm going there. Instantly turn, ignite on it, Leona ultimate on it. Faker almost died in that situation and they get the Bengi kill there. So making out of a really bad situation, 
a kill for yourself is really, really impressive. Well, it just got word that there will not be a substitution. Faker is going to be playing in this in this last game. So really quickly, back over to SKT's side. Earlier we were saying if they just held out and wave clear with the composition that they have, Azir Sivir. In this game, though, Fnatic did not give them the opportunity to wave clear. They blew right through that mid game and blew that gold lead wide open. When you have mid laner struggle, you can easily put them on champions that are easier to get away with, like a Ziggs, like a, an Azir at, at times, you know, farm safely. But when you have a jungler that's really underperforming, you can't put him on a champion that's going to make sure that his problems in the game are going away. This is a huge burden for SKT right now. I've, They're so used to time. I don't feel like Bengi is that much underperforming. I think that actually the bot lane really stepped up in this game with uh, Yellowstar and uh, Steelback. Well, you saw that with me, the level two. The thing for me is, Exactly that. Fnatic isn't beating them just mechanically in aggression. They actually outthought them this game. They got the level two and then they got the lane swap. Getting an advantageous lane swap against a Korean team from coming out of Europe, this is something that none of us expected coming into this series. We kept saying they can beat them with aggression. They beat them if they play the lanes well. But actually getting the strategical edge over what should be a superior I guess, strategical team is just so impressive by Fnatic. All right, well, the best of five has been brought to a best of one. When we come back, we'll preview the deciding match between the LCK's SK Telecom T1 and the European LCS's Fnatic. Our coverage of the 2015 Midseason Invitational continues after this. Can Fnatic take it to five? Can Fnatic... Challenge SKT potentially gonna go down. Hit it, it. Nice! Nice! Wolf is low and Hooney does not have onslaught of shadows. Yellowstar connects with Bang. We do see the equalizer coming down as Bengi is caught out. Hooney on the full back off and Fnatic are somewhat split. They are gonna find Bang though as a multi-man knocker from Wolf will slow things down. Nice! 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 nice. 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 We got it! Nice! Nice! We finish, we finish, we finish. Fnatic! 